27. Invoice from Babylon. Now you're going to watch Hesuk and I do something really, really stupid. Um, chapter, 2 Kings, chapter 20, verses 12 through 21. At that time, Marduk, M-A-R-D-U-K, Babylon, B A L A D A N Son of Baladan B A L D A M O oh, eight the King of Babylon Yes Not Nebuchadnezzar no he comes later Oh yes he's the famous one Exactly I think there's more than one He's not the only one But if he ran does it in there too Sent Hezekiah letters and a gift because he heard of Hezekiah's illness. Oh, he wants to be nice. Some skeptic. This is not like. Why can't other countries be nice to other countries in ancient times? Anyway, Hezekiah received the info always, and showed them all that was in the, his storehouses. The silver, the gold, the spices, and the fine olive oil. His armory and everything found among his treasures. There was nothing in his palace or in all his kingdom that Hezekiah did not show them. Hey, <sighs> imagine if your country's leader decided to show any other country's leader or ambassador the entire national treasury and all the money and wonderful stuff your country has all its wealth and where it keeps all the money and how to get to all the money and just you know all all that stuff just every last cent, all the wonderful stuff, you know. Yeah. Then Isaiah the prophet went to Hezekiah and asked him, What did these, what did those men say? And where did they come from? From a distant land, Hezekiah replied. They came from Babylon. Prophet asks, what did they say in your palace? What did they see in your palace? They saw everything in, everything in my palace. As can I said, there is nothing among my treasures that they did not, that I did not show them. What? They saw everything in the National Archive. All our money, all our gold. In fact, I just took them on a free tour of Fort Knox and gave them a key. <laughs> or insert your country's version. Yeah. Then uh, Isaiah said to Azekaniah, Yeah. Hear the word of the Lord. The time will surely come when everything in your palace and all that is your and all that your predecessors have stored up until this day <coughs> will be carried off to Babylon. Nothing will be left, says the Lord. And some of your distant, uh, some of your descendants, descendants, your own flesh and blood who will be born to you, will be taken away, and they will become entrosis, E-A-U-N-U-C-H, in the palace of the kingdom of Babylon, uh, uh, in palace of the king of Babylon, the word of the Lord, you have spoken is good, Hetkin I replied, for he thought, Will there not be peace and security in my lifetime? <coughs> Your descendants will be carried off and be... You, 
used into a foreign land and all the wealth of Israel is going to be taken with them. But I will have peace time. Wow. As for the other events of Hezekiah's reign, all his achievements and how he made the pool and the tunnel by which he brought water into the city. I think they found it. I think you can tour it? Or that in a different tunnel you can tour in Jerusalem. Israelis, please answer. Are they not written in the book of the annals of the kings of Judah? Has Kenaiah rested with his ancestors? And Manasseh, his son, succeeded him as king. 1033.